I remember that. Hey, it's Dr. Stone. It's been like about... It's been about five weeks or so <laughs> since the last time we watched an episode. Accordingly. Well, actually, first and foremost, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of storming notifications, so I'm going to just turn myself off for a bit. It's episode 7 out of 11 episodes released so far, and we're going to jump into this one in 3, 2, 1, and play. Subarashi. Goku Black would be very pleased. I don't like what I just heard. We just met, and she's already in love. In this state of emergency? I'm saying I like you as a person, so I'll, co I'll cooperate with you. Nothing as logical or trouble prone as relationships. Actually, I think this over. this, um. Overlay is actually a bit darker. Let me go ahead and lighten it up a little bit. There we go. I wonder what happened to Sakasa after that. Like, he was like so close in that area. Like, did he not catch wind to any shouting? You live like a gentleman, but your foul mouth is another dimension. <laughs> That's why I'm making a nation of science. But he needs manpower first. I have a feeling that we won't really see much about our favorite boy and his favorite girl. I guess that's just how it's going to be. I'm not a lioness. It's not for me. It's for my sister. Oh, she's been sick. Hmm. Looks like you can use some science. How many trips have you make with that heavy ass jar? Good question. Ooh. Yo, he was quick about that. Dude, thank you. You're, you say that, but. Oh shit. He just came up with that? I managed to use the Polish from yesterday's as wheels. Civilization births civilization. Applying developments is the basis of science. He tried. But it is really cool as a setup. We're gonna have to make like a Minecraft world just like this, alright? 40. 40 people. Kwaku and the rest of them apparently don't know anything about modern technology. So this settlement is is a settlement of revived people, which means this must have been a first generation. For example, hundreds of years ago, this might have been a first generation science man like me who made revival fluid. There's no sign of revival fluid or any kind of science passed down here though. Whoa! Whoa, easy! He just entered it from the front. I would say front gate, but there is no gate. So this happened before, like... It's a simple fact. Rules are rules. Wow, so someone's already been like with Senku and they these guys are like... Mm -mm, we ain't having that anymore. Sorcery! Bubbles! <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe he did jump. Special technique, let someone else handle it. Handle it. Oh shit, he's gonna summon Google Chrome. What the hell? I'm insanely smart, genius sorcerer. Nice transition. Soap. No one beats me in sorcery. I actually want to see this. <laughs> Check out my badass sorcery. Rainbow Bridge. Oh, okay. I do remember my science teacher doing this. It's just a flame test reaction. 
You just throw salt, copper, and sulfur on it in that order. <laughs> it's the blue crystals you picked up from in the caves, that wasn't it. Oh shit! How the hell does he know about these blue crystals? Listen, if it's not a gun, then it's nothing. What what, what are we looking at? <laughs> oh wow, okay. A ball of sulfur, huh? You put that sulfur you threw in the fire earlier in, in a pot and melted it with heat. Once it cools and hardens, you crack the outer layer and you're done. That's a crazy way to make one of these things. A stack generator? Okay. That's actually not too bad. That's actually not bad. But check this shit out. <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh. Do you think of all this in this primitive village? You gather up all these potential useful minerals and scientific materials in that shed all by yourself? Even if you kill me, even if you kill anyone, even if you reset science, there's always an idiot who will try anything. And the shiny monkeys who <laughs> inevitably create a technological civilization. I like that. You're 10 billion percent. <laughs> One of the people society's gonna kill. Your only choice is to join our kingdom of science. Who? who? Oh yeah, you gotta explain everything to him. A battle of numbers. Ooh. That was fast. <laughs> up in Dragon Quest 2. <laughs> Heat up and you get Mercury. Do you like outside the village. But take so much as one step of his village, I will kill you. Melt some gold dust in the Mercury and... Don't hail the smoke. It will kill you. <laughs> Oh, give him the glow up. Though I don't see the need to remove it either. <laughs> he just needs one more push. Are there any on silver speakers? I've been trying. I've been trying them on my body and collecting the ones that were good. I'm collecting anything if it'll make Rui um, better. That's why I became a sorcerer. It depends on our condition, but in the stone world, resources are limited. Yeah. Or, yeah. Chrome, I should tell you everything. Oh my god. You're really just gonna give it to him. You can fly? We go to that blue thing in the, in the sky? Who caused the petrification? If I ever seal, I'll kill them. Whoa! How can we lose this? Our human predecessors spent millions of years slowly building this crazy technological civilization. Got wiped down in the blink of an eye. It really did, though. Ooh, we need goosebumps. The ultimate medicine of science. The antibiotic. I know that there's a couple episodes that already are released at this point in time, so I'll just kind of give like general feedback on what's happening in this episode. I love it. I love Senku, just like his crazy like personality. I love that he's kind of really headed off like with Kohaku and uh, Chrome, and he's been trying to buy off like some of the other people, and it's not quite working, but it kind of is. <laughs> he's at least amusing them, and that's already fun enough to make for an episode. And the fact that 
he's meeting these new characters, but he's not completely introduced to all of them. Rather, it's just like the outskirts of the village that he's kind of like restricted to. But he at least meets the most like prominent character out of all of them. The one who's most likely to join his side. I think that's good enough for an episode as far as just giving us like an idea of what's to come later on. My guess is like for the next episode, the focus will be on the antibiotic which will uh, cure um, Kohaku's um, sister from her uh, illness. Hopefully, because it would suck if she would just kind of get killed off the following episode. Especially since for Kohaku, like, her sister definitely means a lot just by what she does every day to just, like, what she's willing to go through. I mean, that's kind of the same thing. But that that that, does, that speaks volumes, especially since she's the priestess that everyone, like, regards to the point where they'll actually guard her, like, right in front, even when her sister is around. So if Senku were to heal her, then that guy gives him a lot much more of a higher like opinion, like from like this population of forty. So he can raise his pretty much his nation of science right there. And I think that's kind of the whole point of um this next upcoming arc and for the most part the entirety of the show. So yeah, so I look forward to it and I'll just end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Also, funny ass stuff like so far, and I love that it's there's a lot of seriousness to it, but it's also like just really comical because it's just like the distinction or the difference between like your modern person versus someone who's trying their best, but they're very much so not so modern. <laughs> I love that like disparity between the two, and how they just kind of like collide and come together at the same time. But yeah, so we'll end here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye everyone.